Hi there. I know why you're here. You're here because you want to know how to stream using your iPhone or iPad as a legit high quality streaming camera. I'm in Moro 7 and I'm gonna show you how you can use not just a high quality camera on your iOS device. I'm gonna show you how you can use the high tech Face ID technology on your latest Apple devices to be able to stream with Memojis or emojis as face filters. Cool, right? I'm gonna teach you how to do this in about five minutes. So let's get ready. You'll need for filters, any kind of filter on screen, you're gonna need pretty much any iPhone or iPad's gonna do the job. But if you want the real sweet treat, you're gonna need an iPhone 10 or higher plus an iPad 2018 model or higher, since those are the only ones that come with the Face ID tracking technology. You will need a console like PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, or mobile device. An Elgato capture card like the HD60S or HD60S Plus, a macOS compatible device like a MacBook Pro or iMac, the Elgato capture software that is called Game Capture HD, or you can also use OBS Studio. But I will be making a separate video for that one in order to keep this one simple and short. I will leave a link in the description and a card pop-up once it is uploaded. A cable to connect to your iPhone or iPad to the computer. I use the cable that came with the device on the computer. After you have installed the software and connected your iPhone or iPad to your Mac and connected the video game console or mobile device to the Elgato capture card, you need to open the Game Capture HD. Once you have connected everything and installed the software and you open Game Capture HD, make sure it is updated and the source is turned on. You need to click a scene inside stream command and edit the scene by clicking the edit scene button. You can delete all the overlays to make it easier. You need to add the iPhone or iPad as a camera by clicking on the add overlay button. Choose your iPhone or iPad. You can only have one Apple device though, active at the same time, and make sure the device is unlocked. When the iPhone or iPad appears on the screen, you can edit the size and location of the camera. Click the person icon and enable chroma key in order to edit the camera. Click configure and you will be able to adjust the sizing and color. On the iPhone, you need to open a camera app I use the camera inside messages because it allows emoji and memoji filters. You need to select the front facing camera and activate the effects button. You can now select stickers to use. For example, I use a happy face trump when I win a game and a sad trump face when I lose. You can move the stickers and delete them, even adjust their size. For the face filters, you can activate the Animoji and you will be able to use your Memoji or the default emojis like Poop Face, Alien, or Unicorn. Be warned though, do not use green only emojis for they will not be visible due to the chroma key effect. You can, however, create some cool emojis based on yourself called Memoji emojis, kind of like this one. You can use any other app for the camera, but you are limited to the app features, so pick wisely. That's why I usually use the camera inside messages. I keep the settings in photo mode because it allows for a wider angle, especially in iPhone 11 and 11 Pro. I suggest you disable auto screen lock. It is less secure, but you don't want your iPhone to go into sleep mode during your stream, do you? Face ID does not allow your device to sleep, but you have to be looking at it in order for it to work. I use my iPhone on an angle or next to me, so I'm not always looking at it. So I disabled auto lock on my iPhone, not on my iPad because iPad allows 15 minutes before auto locking. By default, people will be able to see the edges of your iPhone or iPad camera app. Therefore, you need to adjust the size of your overlay. I will show you how. I adjust my camera size to my iPhone 11 Pro Max UI. When you adjust the size of your window, make sure you are hiding the buttons that you want to hide depending on your device. The iPad is the hardest to adjust. Remember to turn on Do Not Disturb so you don't get notifications during your live stream. That's it. You now have your iPhone or iPad as a camera for your stream. The iPad is harder to set up because of its aspect ratio, but it can work. If you want an overlay like a border frame for your camera, you need to add another overlay by clicking add overlay and adding an image. I will show you how I created my blue border frame for my camera with a speed run. 
The Elgato Game Capture HD software is more simple and limited in function and features when compared to OBS Studio. I will not go into more details because I want to keep the video simple and short, but if you want to know more and have more questions, you can leave a comment and I will reply or you can contact me on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, Instagram under nworo7, all in the description below. And don't forget to like this if you did and subscribe with the bell activated for them notifications of when the new videos are ready. So the reason why this method works so seamlessly on the Mac is because Macs and iPhone have the ability to communicate with a screen capture feature that Windows doesn't have. It is a system-wide pre-built feature. For example, you can also use your iPhone and iPad as a microphone on macOS with just plug and play. You just have to activate the function within the system settings. On Windows, you would have to install drivers and some different things with software in order for it to work. And I know most streamers are on Windows and they have efficient and simple tools that they use and those tools do work. But I do not game on PC for my own personal reasons. I love the unity and simplicity of the Apple ecosystem. Therefore, I stream on Mac and play my games on consoles and mobile instead of a dedicated gaming PC. If you have any further questions, remember to leave me a comment or hit me up on social media. If you want to know my streaming setup and how I use an HDMI splitter to be able to play at 4K 60 FPS on, on the TV and stream at 1080p without having to buy the HD60S Plus capture card, let me know and I'll make the video for you. Peace out.